All right guys, what's going on? We're here in the shop today. Um, as usual, whenever I get a guest here at the shop, um, I gotta make him try a walker. Have you ever ran a walker before? Never my whole life. Okay, so this is Mike Andes. He's from Washington State up there. Cool of me, man. <laughs> um, close to Canada, right? Yep. Right, so. Um, so yeah, so he's gotta leave here in about an hour, but we gotta get him on one of these walkers, right? Man, you're killing me. Let's do it. <laughs> so, uh, do you you want to ride this one? Oh, I don't care. Which one's easier? Nope. One the back? Nope. Why don't you ride this one? Okay. All right, guys. So we're gonna get him on this walker. We're gonna put him on the H38. Okay, so I this thing on. All right, Mike. Get your butt on there. <laughs> so there's the key. Okay, it's I'm it. short, man. I gotta move this thing up. Is there a way to do that? Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. That I've never really. <laughs> I never had someone so small. Well, I got you know my, my lead guy I had for uh, for a lot of years is probably about your height. And really? He drove it all the time. Okay, so. all right. I think you'll be all right. So the key's okay. right down there. Okay. Just turn it on. Yep. All the way. any names but Naylor than what you're going, but not too bad. <laughs> so what do you think? That's crazy, man. It, it takes a little bit of getting used to, like, cause here, like how much for you when you're doing it, does it feel like you have to really do this? No. No, so I'm not, I'm doing it wrong. No, I you like barely, like, you don't have to, you like, just literally like move your, your finger like barely. Okay, okay, so I'm doing yeah. something wrong. Cause like when you're out here, do you do it out there? Like the, the turning is out here, you don't have to bring it back to, to control? No, I don't. I don't even think about it. I just do it. One day I'll grow up. <laughs> Has, have you gone to Walker before? Yeah, I was there. I uh, went last year. Yeah. Last, uh, they had their big, uh, they had their big birthday. So they, they kind of, they sold like their, I, I can't remember, like a hundred thousandth Walker or something like that. So they had a big birthday bash out there. Oh, yeah. And we went to it. It was pretty cool. How, like, how big is their facility? Like, where do they make them all? Um, is it like crazy huge or like it's pretty? Small? I would say it's crazy huge. Yeah. But I would say it's it's decent size. Yeah. You know, they got. I mean, the whole facility is really big. Yep. A lot of grass. Yeah. Um, all that kind of stuff. But uh, but it was really cool. I've actually got to tour a few factories last year yep. and this year of uh, how mowers are made. Yeah. It's really cool. Um, you know, Skag, uh, Walker, and uh, well, maybe that's only two, but anyway, yeah. Yeah. seeing how they're made. You go to Gravely too, right? Gravely, but we really didn't see the fact. Right, like, right. We, didn't, we, just, we just went to the testing site. Got it. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, it's just really cool seeing how things are made and how, uh, how they go through the line. Okay, here you go. So this one, the, yeah, the key's over there. The craziest noise in the world. Oh, it's hideous. One of your neighbors hate hideous. Hideous. <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think? Yeah, I like them a lot. Yeah. Is it the, is the manual deck lever like up down thing? Yes. Cool. Yeah, if I, if I had a Walker dealer, this is something I'd be interested in for sure. Yeah, this one here is a, this is a pretty good machine. It's um, heavy duty, man. Yeah, this yeah. one here will, I mean, definitely cut some grass. Yeah. So what uh, what kind of mowers are you running now? Oh, we run Gravely for our zero turns. We use Xmark 21s actually for our push mower. Uh, we, we're thinking about switching to Honda push mowers, um, but we just always use Xmark. We have a ton of them, the push mowers on the crew, so like, we have a lot of backup. Uh, pieces and parts and things like that. Yeah. But it's mostly about just like, if I had a good, if I had a Walker dealer, I'd probably use them. And mm -hmm. then same thing with like other types of the mowers and things. If I had a different dealer, but I'm just super unmechanical. So, so if you're, are you running sit downs or stand downs? Uh, we do both. We, right now we have the, we actually have a John Deere. Actually, I should say that. That was my first zero turn. Yeah. With a 48 stand on John Deere. And then we, since then, on the 48s and 52 Gravely's all with the vacuum system and the three bushel thing on the back. So. so one one thing I've always wondered, and uh, you know, talking with guys that are at a different business level than like what I'm at, kind of like where you're at, you know, around the million dollar range. So when you're looking at mowers and you're looking at uh, you know how to get your jobs done, are you? I mean, what's what's kind of your thought process? I mean, I know a lot of guys, especially you know, I'm guilty of it as well as looking at these mowers as like, you know, man, these mowers are badass. These mowers are cool. You know, I want one. Yeah. Um, but obviously, you know. You know, just a good looking mower doesn't get the job done. So, yeah. what, I mean, kind of what's your thought process when you're buying mowers? Yeah, like I'm, I'm just not that way. Like, I can care less about my, the type of truck I have, the type of equipment I have. I'm much more involved in the business side. So, mm -hmm. I can't even get in there and get dirty and like get psyched out about like the type of engine or the motor. I just, I just don't know any of it. Mm -hmm. So, there's a positive as aspect to that in kind of one way. The negative side is we pay a lot for mechanics and, and our dealer to fix mm -hmm. all of our stuff. Um, and then the positive side is that I don't get emotional about it. I don't care about the brand. I don't care about the brand of truck. I just, I'm looking at it as what's the dollars, how much does it cost? So you're more about, uh, you know, as far as, you know, you know, not a mower, like what it looks like or kind of the hype, you know, it's, oh, it's new mo new mower this year. I got to get it. You're more of uh, efficient. Yeah. You know, what's going to get my job done at the lowest cost? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Is yeah. that, is that kind of how you look at it? I'm looking to also like, is there a good dealer? Are they gonna have parts for me quick? Will sure. they come out like, give me a demo for free because I'm a good customer? Um, and so that's really important. There's one dealer that's close to us and so that's why we use them. Um, but yeah, I think a lot, of, a, lot of us, a lot of us can get easily get romantic about the type of equipment sure. and trucks and trailers. Yeah, like I said, I mean, people that know, that follow me for any length of time know that I like my mowers. Yeah. You know, I love my walker and, you know, I was really in love with the 72 right last year and all that kind mm -hmm. of stuff, but, uh, you know, kind of the more you think about it, or the more I think about it, I'm, you know, it's like, you know, yeah, it gets the job done, yeah. uh, but did I need to spend, you know, the amount of money I spent to get yeah. that job done? And as you get more crews, you want to standardize it if at all possible. So like, sure. <clears throat> we really switched to being everything 152 Gravely's with a certain type of bagging system on a certain type of trailer with a certain type of push mower, same setup inside, just so that when anyone walks into any of the trailers, they can pick up and know exactly what they're doing. Just trying to share as much information as I can. And I know Mike feels the same way with, with you guys and to help you guys out any way we can. If, you know, if, if the information is helpful, then great. If not, then hey, sorry you wasted six minutes of your <laughs> life. But uh, anyway, guys, we're gonna, we're gonna head out of here. I gotta get him back to the airport, get him on his way back home, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Thanks again for coming out. Take care, guys.